So I'm out working at a research plot that uh, this area is all black walnut. And uh, this tree right here is in flower. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like. See how close I can get it. Right in the center there, they, they start to open up and become receptive. And each tree is a different uh, seedling. So they all flower at different times. And you can see this is the female flower. And these are the catkins it's hanging from here. And these haven't actually become, these aren't shedding pollen yet. So they would call this variety protogenous, meaning the female flowers come out first, and then the male flowers come out. And then the, the tree can receive pollen from other trees that have already shed pollen, maybe the ones next door because they're wind pollinated or ones further away. But in this area, there's a lot of uh, hand pollination go going on so that we can make controlled crosses and come up with new varieties. Okay, here we have a black walnut tree with some bags on it. And the bags, what they're doing is uh, they're protecting the uh, pistillate flowers, the female flowers, from uh, getting pollinated by uh, wild pollen. There's a lot of trees next door. There's even wild uh, pollen in the forest. And if you want to make a controlled cross where you know exactly who the father is, you need to make sure that you, uh, you cover up those pistillate flowers uh, really early in the process before they become receptive, before they open up and are allowed to be um, fertilized. So uh, eventually those bags will be removed once the flowers are, are receptive and then pollen from a specific species uh, that would, or excuse me, a, a different cultivar um, that we want to uh, cross pollinate with will be applied to the, the pistillate flowers. So you need to bag early in the season, just when you can start seeing those flowers form. And, uh, and then you, you pollinate once those flowers become receptive.